Happy 4th of July, everyone. Hey, happy 4th of July. And did you know that Illinois might be letting you smoke in restaurants again? Yeah, and movie theaters and at concerts. Right, but only if it's marijuana. That's right. No cigarette smoke, just marijuana. And then next after that, 800,000 marijuana convictions are going to be expunged. Well, I smell a rat. Well, it wasn't the smell. It was the loud noise it made when it fell from the ceiling and hit a table at a, at a Los Angeles Buffalo Wild Wing. Welcome to What Happened to the World Today. I'm Steve. And I'm Scott. And this is a tale of how bad life decisions led to a YouTube show and podcast. And we're going to talk about what we've noticed is going on in the world today. And today is the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. woo Or, no, happy Independence Day. Um... So my computer wants to reboot, so that's not good. It does? Yeah. Uh, uh, why is it doing that? How do I cancel this? All right, I think I canceled it. I hope I cancel it, otherwise we just go dead in the middle of the show. You'll know why. Right. The computer just decided to reboot. Oh, it's time. trying to do an update? I love that. I, I don't know why. It didn't say update. It just says reboot your computer. I don't know. They just must reboot every now and then. Um, so I noticed we took a different tact on um, – Fourth of July background pictures. Yes, yes. Well, you got fireworks. I've got fire. Right? Yeah, fire and in the works. works. Do you remember? And, and, it, and it works. It works. Yeah, remember that pile of wood you had? That's it? Uh, that's, yeah, that's, and then I'll tell you something. That was a 12-foot pile of wood. Was that on purpose? As a matter of fact, I think that might have been a 12-foot pile of wood and a boat. Was that on purpose? Yes. Oh, uh, Okay. We're trying to clean up the property. Cool. So, so as long as you're making effort, they're happy. I don't know. It's the weather is not cooperating. We've had, as I'm sure you've heard, we have had rain almost every single day for two months, and we've got another two more weeks of rain almost every single day. Ah, brutal. And again, we had flooding in the house, even though so we've been. How's that going to affect your? Um your concerts up at Alpine Valley with uh, the It's Mumbo. another reason why things are kind of stressful for me right now because uh, we're looking at that. And granted, they're, they're called scattered thunderstorms, but we're getting them every single freaking day. Yeah, so the ground doesn't dry out. The buses don't do well up there. No, they do not. They sink. Oh, man. You know, the nice part is we don't have to worry about accidentally burning the field on fire like the one year where they put a cooking ban. I was the only one allowed to have – food being cooked on the premises. Really? How'd you do that? I had 20 gallons of water and four fire extinguishers. Wow. Yep. And I had a, a grill that had no vents in the bottom. So the charcoal all stays on top. Wow. That's crazy. Yep. We had that. We had the, uh, the, the sheriff's department and the fire department coming over to verify that we were all good. They said, you're the only one that planned for this. Thank you very much. And you have permission to cook food. Wow. Oh, well, that's cool. Well, that's a good 4th of July. Get out yep. there and cook food on the 4th of July. Yeah, but 4th of July is on a Thursday this year. What a terrible <laughs> day of the week to have a 4th of July. Yeah, that's uh, for sure. I, I honestly have a feeling there are going to be a lot of people calling out sick on Friday. You think? Yeah, it's going to be a yeah. bad day. And, of course, Friday for me is uh, Dave Matthews Band, and so is Saturday. Yeah, I feel, I feel, bad, for, uh, feel bad for businesses because they are going to be short people. Yes. But yeah. you know what else makes people our uh, businesses short of people? Well, I, I thought this was gonna actually bring more businesses, people to businesses. Well, and, possibly. To a certain type of businesses anyway. Well, it, it's kind of a whole weird thing. You know, we've talked about this and I don't know where I stand on this, right? So what we're talking about is weed cafes. Um, they're talking about them here in uh, Nevada. Yes. But it looks like Illinois is going to uh, beat us to the punch. Last week, Illinois signed into law recreational use of marijuana is legal. So you can smoke marijuana in Illinois now. Correct. For recreational and use. there's a provision in the bill that says that they can smoke indoors, which is something you can't do with tobacco. Right. So, so you can smoke weed inside. But you can't smoke cigarettes. Right. And now, 
Here's this a problem. Yeah, it gets confusing to me. It is. And, and this is a problem that I have. Um, you can get contact buzz from secondhand marijuana smoke. Well, especially if you're in some of these places, okay? So here's some of the places. I just want to read this line right out of the article. Even new cannabis smoking lounges. Okay, if you're in a cannabis smoking lounge, you're probably figuring you're going to get a second. Correct. Okay. But there's also weed-friendly movie theaters. Yes. <laughs> I mean, concert venues, I, like, okay, people smoke up but now. It, anyway, concert trust venues. me, they certainly but, do. But, but weed-friendly movie theaters? Yeah. Hey, kids, come on. Let's go see Toy Story 4. <laughs> Wee! Look, Forky's going to be alive. And we're going to talk about Forky in a couple shows. Yes, I, I noticed that. I don't like Forky. So I'll, I'll be uh, hyping that up over the next couple shows. I do not like Forky. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't like Toy Story 4. Did you see it yet? I have not. No, too bad. Um, uh, there will be some spoilers in it, but not nothing that will ruin the movie for you. It'll already – it'll just well, – we'll talk about it when we get to that show. Perfect. But, yeah, so um, legalizing recreation is matter beginning January 1st. What year? 2020. Next, 2020. Yep. So, so year, his hindsight is 2020 vision. So it provides an exemption to the Smoke-Free Illinois Act, banning smoking in worse places, most likely most because of their health threat of secondary smoke. Correct. But, but smoking – you can smoke, but only marijuana, not tobacco. Yes. Now, here, here's another thing we mentioned about the contact tie, and not only that, you do realize that all those of us who see the licenses, we get random drug screens. Ah, that's going to show up. Yes, yeah, I don't understand how that works either. Okay, so so that's one of the other things that we're talking about. How do you test, right? So marijuana stays in your system for 30 days, um, you know, through your hair or whatever, yada yada yada. Right. Uh, so you can take a test and go, yeah, you've done it. But if it's legal, uh, I was told that they could tell if you're under the influence through a saliva test. Okay. But, yeah, they got to start rewriting all those laws. Yes. I mean, the CDL is a federal license. Correct. Even though the state issues it. So, so that won't get removed. No. But, yeah, so what if you're in a place where it's legal in a movie theater? Um, yes. And, or a concert. And everybody's smoking up, and then you've got it, and then you test positive. Does that, I mean. Yeah, because think about it this way. We're literally six miles from the Illinois border. So I do right. a lot of things in Illinois. We have a lot of customers from Illinois that come up here and do stuff. Right. So well, Wisconsin isn't that far behind. They're talking about doing it nationally, you know, sooner yes. than later. But I don't know when the sooner is. But, you know, you got Canada. You've got all the states that do it now. Uh, it's, it's crazy. Yes. And, of course, uh, the next part of our, our show here talks about the other cool thing that's kind of crazy. Oh, Illinois oh. is going to expunge nearly 800,000 marijuana convictions off records. Right. So, so, so here's the second half that happens because of this, right? So now that, that uh, marijuana is legal, all of these convictions can be expunged off the records for marijuana-related offenses for that. And, Correct. and the reason that people want these off their records is, it, you know. Uh, it screws things up for certain jobs and yeah, all sorts of things. Jobs and business licenses and where you can work and all, kind, know, of, all kinds of stuff like that. I personally have no use for the stuff. I don't like the smell of it. Um, and as you know, I, I don't even like taking certain meds because I don't like that disconnected feeling that people are paying right. to have. Um, but I, I've always been of the opinion that it's basically the same as alcohol. If you're going to let people drink, you got to let people smoke dope. Right. Uh, the thing that I have uh, that I noticed about this is all the personal usage convictions are going to be expunged. If you were trying to sell it, those stay. Mm, yeah. Possessing <laughs> less than 30 grams. Correct. And then if it's between 30 and 500 grams, they can petition the court to see if it get rescinded. After that, they're kind of screwed. Yeah. It is kind of weird, though. I mean, so I'm, I'm torn on the whole marijuana thing. You know, it's – I don't – a gateway drug. I don't know anybody who is a gateway drug. Uh, 
<coughs> you know, I I know people who did uh, cocaine and then um, right. What else did they do? Did I know anybody did heroin? I don't know anybody who did heroin. Maybe I didn't didn't know it. Cocaine was the biggest one that I knew people did, and they they weren't right. marijuana smokers. No, you know they did did cocaine. It was, <laughs> you know, I'm just doing cocaine, but you know. Say hello to my little friend. Oh um, yeah, Scarface. But yeah, so so kind of weird, kind of. Uh, so way to go, Illinois. Uh, now that your last six governors are in jail, uh, <laughs> this guy's take them all marijuana. I think you're exaggerating. I don't think it's six. It, it, was, it, it was six at some point. It really? Was six. Yes, it was oh, six. God. I shouldn't have brought that up because now you're going to look it up. You're going to say it is six. And I'm going to, oh, my God, I know Illinois screwed up in their politics, but wow. Yeah, so so four of Illinois' last four governors went to prison, but I thought there was more than that. So Otto Kerner went to jail from 61 to 68. He was the governor. Dan Walker went to jail. George Ryan went to jail. And Bogoyevich. Yeah, that's because they didn't have the daily machine behind it. And, and he was impeached. So, well, well at least his wife thought he was impeached. Yeah. Hey, you know what I like about peaches? Uh, you do? I love peaches. I, I like oh. nectarines better, but peaches are, 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 I love those too. They got that literally soft skin, and it's a very positive feeling. Oh, so you, that's your segue to our genuine positivity message. Right. I was wondering how you're going to get to the genuine positivity message, but okay. Yeah, it doesn't go along with our subjects this time. Well, it does. Uh, yeah, sort of. It does. Because Harry S. Truman never went to jail. Well, you don't know that for sure. Uh, I, yeah. Well, well, what do you mean? I don't know for, for sure. You know, there's things that happen in politics or, you know, pre-politics that things get covered up after a while. So he could have been a young man and got hauled off to jail for doing something stupid. Yeah, but, but, but he was succeeded on his death by um, Franklin D. Roosevelt. Right. So, uh, but anyway, Steve, what is Harry S. Truman's genuine positivity message? I don't know. What was our 33rd president's genuine positivity message? It was... America was not built on fear. America was built on courage, on imagination, and an unbeatable determination to do the job at hand. Damn Skippy. Harry S. Truman. That's how you that's how you that's how you do anything. That's how you build. You know, you don't you don't make excuses. No. You don't. Get out there and you do it. Just well, do it. Then do it. You, you can, can do, do it. it. You can do it all night long. That's, yeah. Amazing that he's famous for that. But I know. Okay, so so speaking of doing it. I wonder if this was what was happening. No. I, I don't understand. I, I, I read the article, and I didn't understand it, right? So, so Okay. <laughs> A woman shocked after a rat falls a restaurant ceiling onto the table. Right. Uh, it wasn't her table. It was the table next to her. Right. So. All right. It's, it, this is in L.A., which is kind of cool. Right. And it was at but, a Buffalo but, Wild but, Wings. But, but the, 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 again, I love these people who write these articles. They don't know. So the headline says, woman shocked after a rat falls from restaurant ceiling onto table. Okay. Yes. Those are news tables. Then the, the, the bumper says, Roden Falls from a Buffalo Wild Wings ceiling lands on woman's menu. Okay, so a Houston native, uh, Alicia Norman, uh, was at a Los Angeles Buffalo Wild Wings, and the last thing she expects to see is this rat fall sea. So, okay, did it die when it landed on the table? Because they have pictures of it dead on the yes. menu. What, what I read when I got farther down, she said that uh, she knew the rat was going to be injured because it hit like a Mack truck, and it was big. And obviously, there's, you know, you've been in Buffalo Wilds Wings. Those are 20-foot ceilings. So it is a long drop. Right. Okay. So he fell and killed himself. But 
Um, he was picked up with two plates by the manager, and then the manager went and comped everybody's meal in the place and shut the place down. Yeah. Well, okay. So, okay. <laughs> Again, rodents and rats, and, and they're in these restaurants. I mean, they're everywhere. They're in PA. You know, rich people. Rained, they can't, he could have come in from next door, run across the ceiling on those trusses. Correct. Fall. And, and they're actually saying that's probably what happened because the there's a huge construction site next door where they demolished the building. So all the rats in that building probably just scattered. Right. And they had to come over there. You know, it, it's just, it's just funny. I mean, isn't that funny, funny, weird, not funny. Ha ha. Right. But yeah. yeah, I mean, they've got an A rating, you know, it's not like the place is dirty. Buffalo Wild Wings are usually pretty good. I mean, I, yes, I'm not they are. most of your, your, um, quote unquote fast food or franchise places are really good on that because it, it's drilled into you. I remember when we were in the business, that's one of the first things they do. Cleanliness, 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 period. Yeah. What they yeah. teach you. Yeah, and, and here's the other quote I love. While disturbed, the Texas native claims she wasn't upset and isn't planning on taking any action against the restaurant, though she's not sure if she'll ever eat there again. There right. where? The one in LA or at Buffalo Wild Wings in general? Yes. I mean, does she drive from Houston all the way to Los Angeles all the time? Um, I mean, it, it reopened after a, a thorough health inspection. Right. So, I mean, I know, again, it, it, people not being responsible. I don't know. I just. Uh, now, it's really kind of funny because I'm getting distracted in the middle of our show because a pop up window just came up on my screen about a, a um, woman who's leading police in, a, uh, in California on a uh, chase, and she's driving a motorhome, and it's all banged up because she's just running freaking everything over. It's like, oh, cry me. What is wrong with people? That's what they do. So, but anywho's, um, That's you know, a whole story, too. It is. Yeah. So, Why is it popping up on my screen? Over I have the weekend, seen. yeah. So, anywho's talking about rats, I came up with a phrase origin story about rats. Did you? All well, right. Kind of. It's I, I smell, smell a rat. I smell a rat. Do okay. So what? Well, the meaning, of course, is a feeling that something is not quite right. This phrase might be used when a person feels suspicious, especially of another person. For centuries, one way that the word smell has been used to describe a suspicious feeling someone has. Uh, as an example, even uh, William Shakespeare in a play called King Lear, which nobody's ever heard of, um, which was written in the 17th century, wrote, do you smell a fault? Um, another example is uh, something smells fishy, and then, of course, I smell a rat. They all pretty much mean the same thing. Something feels wrong. A rat dies somewhere in the house unbeknownst to the owner, and then a few days later, the rat's, rat's corpse starts to stink. The homeowner begins noticing a strange odor, but they don't entirely know what it is or where the smell is coming from. They just don't know. They just know that something doesn't smell right. So hence, I smell a rat. Yep. First used in the 1800s. I smell a rat. But the, or, or is it the White Stripes song? I think I smell a rat. Um, or the Buddy Guy song, I smell a rat. Or Patty Griffin. I smell a rat. I smell a rat. Very, very popular. So with that, I think I smell the end of our show. <laughs> I want to say thank you for watching. And if you feel our show is not a bad life decision, then please subscribe, like, watch our other shows and channels. Go to whathappened.world. You can connect up with our social media. You can follow us uh, through all the other fun things that we do. Uh, go to uh, Fun Guy, the Entertainer Cooks for You. Watch all those shows. Uh, Scott will post stuff of the concerts that he's up on his uh, Instagram. So with that, I want you to live every day, and we'll see you at the next show. Be genuinely positive, live and love life, and have a good one. Uh, 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 uh,